Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a tournament finals for $200, so the winner's gonna win $200, and the loser's gonna walk away with nothing. Also, make sure to go check out Dragon Riders Games' Facebook page, link down below at the very top of the description, if you want to play in any other future tournaments. And we have GNAC versus Toast, and then hopping in, we're going to see GNAC win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they will decide to go first. 43 versus 40. Opening hands. We have Dark Ruler, Shaylin, Super Poly, Huffinus, Super Poly. They have Talon, Starter, Carrot, Light Stage, and Dark Ruler. So it looks like going second Sprite against Tier. Can't really see what build of Tier it is because we don't really see anything here. Oh, they're going to get rid of Huffinus, Summon, Mill 3. Okay, so it is the Danger build. We also know Rhino Heart there and Galaxy. So then we're going to get Huffinus effect, putting back itself and the Rhino, they said think which mats, yeah, let's put those back, uh, summon kit, and then kit effect, and then kit will now go search out Rhino, uh, kit effect, get rid of itself to summon out Rhino, mm. Okay, it's like we could also summon Rhino, dump Miri, mill 8. Mill 8 isn't bad. It's also not like that good though. Uh, summon out, and then effects. So then we mill 5. Uh, right, we got like Nessie and Huffinus in Graveyard. And then Rhino, dump Miri. No, we already used Huffinus effects. Now we're going to get Miri effect diffusion. Uh, so go ahead, put back itself and kit, right? Uh, put back Miri, put back kit, summon out Dragostopalia, overlay, and then this will summon out Redoer. Set double Super Poly. And then pass play. Uh, they draw Swap Frog, standby phase, Redoer effect to attach. Let's see, does it hit anything good? Ah, terraforming. Okay, at least it's a spell. Could be worse. Uh, activate redoer effect, and then that's gonna get rid of terraforming Shaylin. So draw into desires. It's not bad. Shaylin effect of fusion now. So put back Nessie. Put back Shaylin. Summon out Kit, and then activate the Kit effect. And Kit will now go search out Huffinus. And then main phase, activate light stage. Go search a Lily Bell. Uh, Lily Bell effect, special summon itself out. And then light stage effect, the lockdown is super poly, which is fine, so we still have the other super poly. So I should be able to interact with them pretty well. Summon swap frog, swap frog effect. And swap frog, dump run and totem. Said, is anything on res? So that's fine. Um, activate Dark Ruler now to shut off the Dragos to Paleo. Uh, link off into the Water Charmer. Okay, so they can take the Rhino Heart. Um, okay, effect on Rhino. Go ahead and take that. Imagine if they use the effect to dump. Well, okay, summons out the Rhino. Now, special summon Carrot. So we have a link two. Nothing there. Uh, they might overlay for Gigantic here. Yeah, summon that. And then. Nah, I have to think. Sorry. We're gonna activate Super Poly here on the summon, not on the effect. Which means we can still Huffinus our opponent. So bring that out. Activate talents to take. Oh, uh, we didn't use a monster during the main phase. They dark rulered. Said, oh, sorry. And they have the starter as the last card. So they get to continue to play. So thinking here. Banish, summon Ronin Toten. And then we're going to link off Ronin, Tonin, and Rhino. And then that summons out Elf. Elf effect. Summon back out. 
they said elf target the water charmer okay summon that and then overlay those summon gigantic uh, we have not used gigantic yet because they did it on summon because they didn't want to be locked which it's like I don't know, do you care about being locked that much? Um, probably not. So what are you going to do? You're going to drop Hafinas. It doesn't really do too much. You'd have to like hit a tear off of it. I don't know, maybe you just let the first one go through. Especially because like, you know they have this set up. Well, Gigantic. Summon out Swap Frog. Swap Frog effect now to go dump. So then Swap Frog, dump Swap Frog. Banish Swap Frog, summon out Ronin Totem. Overlay those, summon Totally Awesome. And then activate the starter. So starter, summon blue. And then blue effect, go search jet. Jet effect, go search, search smashers. Also minus 1100. And then battle phase, beat over, beat over. No damage, cause Dark Ruler. Main phase 2, link off into elf, and then set smashers, end phase, light stage resolve, getting rid of super poly, also redo or come back. And then pass turn, draw gizmak. Mm, okay, so we're going to go into standby phase, redo or effect. Attaching Pixies and then main phase activate Dark Ruler. Okay, uh, end of main battle phase attack and then go main phase two. Oh, we play the Zeus. <laughs> it's like they could smashers, but then we chain Redoer anyways, so then it's like not that great. But like now we summon Zeus. I guess to be fair, like not a lot of people are playing Zeus right now, so you're not really gonna like play around it too often. And then activate Smashers, uh, go ahead, banish the Zeus in response. Toad effect to add back Swap Frog. We have Gizmic, Afinas, uh, pass, they draw Smashers, so they're playing multiple Smashers in their deck. And then normal summon Swap Frog, battle phase, attack. They don't have any more frogs to dump. Mm. Okay, they're gonna set smashers pass. End phase, activate Gizmek. This card is pretty good in uh, a game state like this. They do have smashers though, which can go ahead and banish it. He's still passing. Draw Shaylin. Oh, okay. Now we have tier stuff going. Uh, Shaylin effect. Get rid of Hafina. Summon. Mill 3. Uh, mills nothing, but Hafina's effect will activate. So put back Hafina's and put back an Aqua. And then summon out Kit. Kit effect. Can you reveal the other Kit? You technically don't have to do that, but you do have to have another Kit to be able to summon there. So, Kit, go search Salic. And then they're thinking on res. Because otherwise, they could go like Kit effect, target itself. And even if they chain Smashers, they still get to summon back out the Rhino Heart. But it's like, even if you Smashers here, banishing Kit, it's like not a good position to be in still. Actually, would you just lose? Could they go Charmer, Charmer, take Gigantic, summon back out Gizmek? Uh, ooh, that's 50 life points off, right? Because Gizmek plus Gigantic is 4,050 plus 1,850. Oh, wait. No, no, that's exact game. That's exact game. Okay, kit effects. Oh, lol, I'm still thinking. Think, signal thumbs up. 
I signaled the okay after I saw think question mark to signal that I'm still thinking. Okay, so banish kit before they activate the effect. And then they could just play it safe though. Or link those off. And then summon out charmer. Charmer effect takes pixies. Wasn't it just supposed to be Gigantic? Maybe they just summon zero Boros and win anyways, but you definitely want to summon back out the Gigantic. Summon zero Boros, battle phase attack, and now moving on into game two. We are going to see Toast decide to go first, opening hands. We have Rhino Heart, Planet, Desires, Instant Fusion, Galaxy. They have Prosperity, Light Stage, Trap Trick, Swap Frog, D Barrier. So normal summon out Swap Frog, Swap Frog Effect. Their hand's insane, by the way. They have Swap Frog, Light Stage, Prosperity. And then on the opponent's turn, they have multiple purple cards. Light Stage goes search Lily Bell. Lily Bell summon itself out. Overlay, summon Gigantic. And then Gigantic Effect. Detach and special, summon out blue, and then blue effect, go search jet, jet effect, go search smashers, and then link off, summon elf, elf effect, summon swap, swap effect, dump, swap go, dump, swap frog, and then Afterwards, you can banish Swap Frog, summon out Ronin Toten, Swap Frog effect, bounce back blue, and then overlay for Toad. And then activate Prosperity, oh, just for three. Banishes the Pure Light. Could be on Shifter, they are also playing the going second build. They also play Zero Boros in their deck. Uh, look at the top three, hits a pointer there. Man, they still have Trap Trick too. Is that, I mean, that means they have to have, like, a D barrier for another turn, right? Like, this is just, like, an unbreakable board. Pass, draw Shaylin. And then activate a pointer here. Uh, banishing Desires. And then, yeah, they have D barrier, which trades with, like, a lot of these other cards while still having Smashers. Toad times two up. Galaxy, target trap trick. We're gonna chain trap trick. And then trap trick, banish to set a pointer. And just because they set a pointer doesn't mean this is the only trap they can activate. They're just doing that to get a free trap. Um, they can still just use D barrier as their next trap and just keep a pointer set. But activate planet, planet, go search Halfinus. Probably just doesn't run 3D barrier, otherwise they probably would have gone for that. Uh, Shaylin effect. And then we're going to get rid of Huffina, summon mill 3, uh, activate Huffina's effect. They chain Toad. So they're just signed to do this instead of, you know, like, flipping D barrier. Um, which is a little interesting, especially because, like, this could just go like battle phase beat over the toad if they just bring it back, which I guess is fine, right? Like you just have D barrier to beat him anyways. But toad add back swap, elf summon back toad. Then they're gonna go battle phase, try to attack toad, activate smashers, banish Shaylin. Then main phase two, set instant fusion, normal summon rhino, rhino effect. Okay, you definitely just D barrier this, right? And then you have toad dig negate instant fusion. Are we just toad negate that, add back, and we have D barrier to stop instant fusion? Like, we just know what it is, anyways. So, um, going on to game three now, we are going to see G Knack. Go first, opening hands. We have Planet, Super Poly, Planet, Virus, Desires. They have Starter, Blue, Dark Ruler, Run and Toad, and Jet. So they only have Dark Ruler against Eradicator. That's unfortunate. But it's not like this hand is too strong at the moment. Uh, we're getting Desires, Banish. We haven't been drawing a lot of these dangers. But we banished Salix, Snow. 
And then draw on the Bigfoot, Miru. Set Eradicator, activate Bigfoot. And then Bigfoot will hit out from the hand. The Miru, summon, draw on the Deck Devi. Oh my gosh, we have Deck Devi Eradicator. And both of them are alive. Activate planet, go search Rhino. And we already have another planet as follow up. So summon Rhino Heart, Rhino Heart effect, go dump. That's gonna dump Miri. And then Miri effect to put back infusion. So bring out kit. Um, kit effect now to go search. And then that's gonna grab Shaylin. Uh, kit effect tag out into Shaylin. And then kit to mill five. Let's see, what is this mill here? We see rhino, rhino. Okay, so we hit nothing. Uh, set so super poly, set so deck devy pass, they draw dark ruler. And then draw phase, eradicator, tribute bigfoot, call spells. They're gonna chain starter. So starter, bring out Kara. And then rip the dark rulers. They're gonna lose a thousand. Uh, then they're gonna activate deck devy on them. Deck Devi Tribute Shaylin. It does gain 500, so it's at 23 currently, so it does meet the 2000 threshold. And then that's just going to rip the rest of their hand. So now, yeah, Pointer Barrier versus Double Virus. I was going to say, so now they're going to pass and pray that their opponent doesn't have any engine, but then they're going to activate Planet and they will admit defeat, realizing that they have lost. And they can't even top deck out of it because they're still under Eradicator Deck Devi. They draw Instant Fusion 2, which is just Salt in the Wound. Go Main Phase, activate Instant Fusion. Yeah, GG, GG. Seeing how long the match was, uh, we see that it was about 55 minutes long. Okay, uh, we're going to see the GNAC end up winning the $200 there. Um, also, shout out to JPG. I'll leave a link to them down below in the description. Pretty sure that's what they're called. Uh, the GNAC player. Um, I forget what it's called. It's called like, yeah, Jung's Playground. It should be JPG. Um, you can go ahead and check out their Facebook down below in the description. I'll go ahead and find that. And with all of that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.